Hey everyone, FPS Chazla here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters with Lamy. Maybe I should just call it Lamy from now on. I think I'm just gonna call it Lamy because that W just makes it freaking annoying to say. So we are doing first salvo, and we are playing as an Akula. I'm not sure if this is a Akula one or a Akula one improved. I'm pretty sure it's not a Akula two, but we're playing as an Akula, and I just ordered a speed of two knots just because I don't know. Where exactly I'm close to, who exactly I'm close to. But we got some tracks. I'm here already. Several tracks. Several tracks indeed. Gonna go mark up all these bad boys here and see what we got on the narrow. Yeah, we got some stuff on the conformal there. What do we got? Victor 3, you call it. And then some stuff on the toad as well. Victor 3, it looks like we got ourselves a Victor 3 nearby. But then there's also something else on the conformal off in this direction as well that I did not see over here. Is that a glitch or something? Uh, maybe a biologic. I don't know. There's also something over here as well. Shark bear sign. Let me get the reciprocal over here as well, too. Okay, we have to make a toad turn at some point here. But we got ourselves some uh, some toad tracks and some conformal tracks and uh, some cylindrical tracks. We got all all the tracks. All right, so yeah, we're playing as in the Kula. Lamy has a new new model for it. Not terrible, not terrible. The reinforced alert model is definitely better looking, but anything's better than the stock model. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you my loadout here. What we got? Got some stallions here for some long range pouncing. Squalls, if anyone decides to get testy, 53 centimeter for general anti purpose ASW and 65 centimeters to go after surface ships. And then the external tubes, I got got them all loaded up with clubs here because uh, my objective this time is to go after the Kitty Hawk. So I'm going to send six supersonic missiles her way and see how she deals with that. Well, six terminal supersonic missiles. Holy crap, 700 meters of toad. Good lord, bring some of that back in. Unless it's in centimeters, now that wouldn't make sense. Six meters. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring some of that back in. Where's the layer? Layer's at three, three, four. We we're at two hundred one. Very well. I can go beneath that, no problem. Let's bring some of this toad back into maybe three hundred meters or so. It's coming in pretty quickly. And uh, so we got our four toad contacts. This is definitely a victor down here, right around here. It looks like. I've not played in the cool it in forever. All right, we can turn that off. And let us go ahead and make a turn to... Well, I know this vector is real, so I can turn that way with the toad and not care. Let's turn to the south. Let's make turns for three knots here. And we might as well go to the toad on the narrow band here and do a little search. Uh, we can zoom in further than that. Looks like all we're holding is one contact on the toad right now. It's the victor here. And we're still waiting until uh, 6.30 to get our orders. 600. 6.30 is when the attack begins. 0600 is when we get our orders. But it will. Kitty Hawk is... Okay, see, I, if I had that info about the SAG as the Kilo, it might have been more doable. Kitty Hawk is 50 miles southwest of your current position, transiting to the east at 20 knots. So let's plot that. 50 miles... I pause it as to simulate that someone else will be doing this or something. Um, 50 miles... Well, let's do this. I'm just going to go ahead and make it as chunky as they specified. I don't have any other reason to make it more um, detailed than that. So he's out there, 225, 50, right about there. And heading east. East? I'm not going to get him if he's heading east. Transiting to the east at 20 knots. I'm so far away if he's transiting to the east. That makes no sense right now. I might go up to the top side and get some link data at some point because that doesn't make any sense but I should be heading that way then just southeast all right let's resume this then uh, it looks like there might be two contacts stacked there but I don't think so I think I'm just seeing one which is very strong very close aboard Victor 3 very close aboard getting three frequencies on it pretty strong at that and we're also seeing them on the other array here. What a... That's that same frequency. What about cylindrical? 
Yeah, so this is like most assuredly a victory three here. What do we got? Oh, seven, three, and four. Merge them up. Seven, three, and four. Merge that with four. So we got ourselves classify this contact as a victor three. Confidence high. This is most assuredly a victor three. What, which one were they saying? I think they were saying just this one. What's the difference? I'm not sure what the difference is. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a difference. I know there's a difference, but an improvement an improvement of their victor three with reduced noise levels and the capability to fire the granat cruise missile. That's the one the uh, freaking uh, Whatchamadu dead. Oscar 2 carries, isn't it? The Granat. Confidence high. Friendly. And they, they updated, updated the Victor 3 model as well. It's uh, pretty nice, but it's, uh, it's smooth. <laughs> it's very smooth. It's got like a weird little like dip down here and then kind of flat on top. It's an interesting hull form to it. All right, so we're making our turn in our Victor 3 down here. Well, let's uh, get some demon data on him. Master 1, TPK should be 7. That should not have changed. Victor 3, we'll call it. TPK, 7. 8 blades, however. 8 blades, so we're only seeing 6 of those. So that's interesting. Uh, speed 5 knots. So he's being kind of careless because he's definitely making more noise than I am, and he's going faster, so he's not helping his own cause right now. And uh, t -t 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 close aboard, close aboard, very close aboard. I might even want to break this back down into component solutions here. Keep that speed constant, please. Spasiba. He's either heading towards me or away. Not terribly sure. Wish I had that water. Oh, are there actually eight blades? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there are eight blades. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. And then I got the weird, uh, kind of a cool prop that kind of bends out. It's kind of bendy, bendy prop. Not like an American prop. Um, heat exchanger intakes. Okay, let's see. I always found it interesting that they made them stick out like that. You think that would just be a sore for making noise or something? I guess the American ones are flush and inline. Uh, I'm not actually sure which one would make more noise then. One might be geared towards a lower or higher speed, and vice versa. Alright, so we are doing this turn. Don't think our toe just started straightening out yet. Now we're just going to speed up some time here. So if I detect anyone long range, one, aka a submarine, one. they're getting a stallion coming their way. So Sierra 6 and Sierra 5 are definitely falsies here. So we have another contact. Off to the north here. Sierra 1, Sierra 2. Now, this might be the biologic here or something, because I'm just, this is absolutely zero data on here, and I should be seeing something on the toad. Well, maybe I should zoom in. But no, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing, Nathan, nada. Uh, I think I was also getting him on the conformal. Yeah, cylindrical is a uh, white. So that might be. A biologic, and then one of these is going to have some. Uh, not going to be getting any more data on that conformal one, so I might as well drop that. All right, uh, what's Master One doing? What's this holding up to down here? Not too terribly sure. Let's go till we get some lineup on these uh, dots in the stack here. Alt H history. Okay, and that. Didn't modify his solution too much, so he's either right there or I don't know. I'm trying to devise a way to get a pseudo kind of waterfall looking thing with the uh, the TMA display here, a way to kind of hijinx that. And the way I'm thinking of of trying to derive this method is taking the ruler stack and kind of just putting it in the middle of the data here, and then pointing it to you, and then trying to see where this trends. See, as you can see, this is kind of starting off. Uh, steep and then becoming shallower, which would indicate, if my theory is correct, that he's getting closer to me. So, of course, more along the lines of this would be correct according to this method I've recently devised. So, who knows? I want to try and refine that further because I think that'll be nice. 
Smiley face from my mother. Okay, that was a text message. You don't usually, you're not used to seeing the uh, the yellow boxes around a, a contact here. <laughs> All right. Oh, the color changed. Hang on a sec. Oh no, I want to get a better screenshot for my. Uh, I'll just do it live stream here. Now I'm not going to be able to figure it out. It was like the gross, brimy looking color before. Now it's like a nicer kind of blue kind of color. Yeah, hang on a sec. I'll be right back. All right, yeah, I got a better screenshot for the video. You won't be seeing the original one. You'll just be seeing this one. <laughs> I want to change up those colors sometimes. So, yeah, reciprocal. Wait, I'm going to turn up my system volume real quick. Shrimp. It's shrimp. Nothing but some shrimp. It's quiet because I'm turning my system volume back down to precise levels. That doesn't affect what you guys see on your end because that just changes the volume of the audio as it goes to my speakers. It's not actually increasing the software gain or anything like that. But yeah, shrimp. This is shrimp. So, don't really care then. So our scopes are pretty much empty right now then. Yeah, because this is the toad and that's the reciprocal of the victor. Not seeing anything else. All right, I'm going to go very quickly. I'm going to go, sh no, 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 don't do that. I don't want to surface. No, no, yes, don't surface. Go to depth. Two, Please don't surface. Zero, one, <laughs> Go to Periscope depth. Depth control I. Go to depth I kind of freaked zero, out. I should have just set like a one, depth, but it's meters, all good. Depth control I. Oh god, that toad always gets so close to that prop. Yeah, I don't know why the Russians decided to do it like that. It just seems like they're trying to get their toad chopped off on purpose or something. See right there, yoink. I think should be gone. All right. Uh, zero two one. So we're at depth. Um, Let's go ahead and raise this radio mast real quick, see if we can't get some link data here. I'm going to raise the ESM, see if we can't get a, a peak in different spectrums of light. No, don't surface. Don't surface. No. What are you doing? Are you surfacing? It says initiating normal release of ballast, but I don't think he is. Oh, you are. Go down. Don't surface, please. I did not tell you to surface. Zero, six, oh, please seven, do not do this. Meters, no, I'm too young. I'm just a boy. I'm just a boy. You can't be doing this. There's a Viking. There's all kinds of shit that's going to be coming my way. I'm going to have to restart the mission if this is the case. I don't want to restart the mission. Go down. Down, down, down. Okay, good. We may have eluded travesty there, but I'm not staying around to figure that out. We're going deep. Go to depth. Four, I'm getting one, out of here. Eight, I'm getting beneath frickin'. That, that was bad. That was bad. That was not what I intended to do, so I'm getting out of there. I'm boogieing and departing that because that was a travesty. I don't know why he thought I was still planning the surface. I had ordered a death change. <sighs> it was my fault for letting that stay on surface for so long. What do we got here? It's like moorings and stuff. It's interesting. Get me out of here. Go. Get out of here. Get going. You messed up. Get out of here. Get out of here. Not dealing with that crap. Oh, the shrimpies are changing course. Must be really close aboard or something. Alright, well, what are, what's, what's, uh, what's uh, Victor doing down here? Come on, Victor. Let's party. Looks like a course change, or my range was wrong. It looks like my range might have been wrong here. I'm just trying to go for the straight line, straight course kind of assumption here. But I think I'm, it might do well to just uh, split these tracks. I don't know. So if he's doing like straight course, it's probably something more like that. Like I said, that method I'm trying to devise to make a pseudo waterfall for the Ruski boats has yet to be defined. But if I do derive such a thing, I think it would be nice to have. Very nice indeed. I'm going to have to set up some kind of like controlled scenario where I can see what a track does in like an American boat and then try and mimic that in the TMA in a Ruski boat. But even then, it's going to be susceptible to lots of error. So, have to work on it. These shrimpy shrimps. I didn't think shrimps were supposed to move. I thought they just stayed stationary. All right, but yeah. Get down there. Get going. Get out of here. I'm going to head southeast. Rotor left. Steer course. That's where these... Two, Boats are one, going. Steering eye. Oh, we got ourselves some link. That is the... Okay, there's Perry's up there. Kitty Hawk. What? Why is the Kitty Hawk all the way up there? That's not right. That's not where the Kitty Hawk should be. Right? What is going on? I don't even know. 
unless that's like incorrect link data. It's very well that it could be. Just because it's linked doesn't mean it's accurate per se. Um, I don't know if they're heading. I shouldn't be expected to maneuver that much, should I? That would just be like poor mission design, wouldn't it? I should just be laying in wait. But the easterly thing is, it should say northeast, shouldn't it? Not easterly. Ugh, well, in an hour anyway. If this is correct, and that's not even southwest up there, these guys, that's west, man. Um, in an hour, they'll be somewhere on that circle, if that's where they started. That's where the Kitty Hawk will be in an hour. So I don't know, I might just try and stay put here then. Shouldn't really buggy or boogie around too much, I'm not sure. Hmm. But it, it's, it shouldn't be like that, so I'm hoping it's not. <laughs> So that would just be silly. <laughs> this game is silly. Alrighty, I'm just trying to... Well, I'm below mad at this point, so I don't really want to go beneath the layer. So I'm just going to stay here. I'm just going to hang out here. Go to depth two, two, six meters. Depth control if the American subs are beneath the layer, fine. It doesn't mean anything to me. It just means they won't be able to hear me. So I'm fine here. I'm beneath mad detection depth. Maximum mad detection depth, so... I'm fine with that breach unless they just get gunsy and decide to just drop torps willy-nilly. Willy-nilly, but who knows? I don't. Okay, again, the shrimpy is on the conformal. So I got the victor on the cylindrical there. I always want to call it the spherical. And yeah, there's a S3 Viking out there, isn't there? I guess at one point I may try and get back up to see what is going on top side because I feel like I need better intel on the position of that fleet. It's not very precise. And where it's going is not very Steer precise either. <laughs> mm. Take a drink of water. So I'm going to Colorado in a few days to visit my brother. My parents are coming out there as well. So today's my recording day. It's Monday. Uh, I leave Wednesday morning, so and I'm busy tomorrow evening. So I'm recording this evening, doing a bulk majority of my packing this evening. I think I wanted to try and do some laundry this evening, even too. So lots of stuff to do. Busy, busy, busy beaver. Then at work today, I was just doing a lot of prep work or a lot of finalization work to finish our report for submittal to the NRC for our new package. Well, not our new package, but an update to it. So, it wasn't the lackadaisical easy time I was expecting when I got back to work, but did not big deal. Not the big deal makes the day go by quicker. Uh, Alright, uh, I think I'm going to end it here. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. There will be all the normal amounts of videos this week since I have longer to prepare. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.